let's check the storage utilization for an azure uh, sql managed instance so let's uh, uh, open uh, jb iphone dist mi iphone pra iphone si and uh, if you go to the overview tab uh, we will be able to understand the storage utilization so it is basically telling like uh, the max storage for this instance as of now is 32 gb and out of that max storage 16 gb is kind of uh, used by your sql server database so uh, uh, this particular um, uh, diagram basically shows us like um, uh, we have 32 gb of max storage and out of which 50.2 percent which is close to 16 gb 16 point some gb is used by the user database so we will be able to understand this particular information um, uh, from here that is the storage utilization and based upon the details here we will be able to go to the compute and storage and then uh, if required we can uh, uh, increase the uh, uh, storage okay that's one thing and uh, what what we can also do is like we can uh, have go to this uh, metrics here and then uh, what we can do is like uh, we can select um, the storage space reserved here and uh, that basically tells us like we have close to like uh, 32.7 uh, uh, um, uh, to close to 32 GB of um, uh, space that is provided. So you can change it to uh, min, max and average. So here I will uh, use uh, maximum. So the storage space reserved right now, it shows like uh, 32 GB is reserved for this uh, Azure SQL managed instance. Now, if we uh, select storage space used here, and then uh, we uh, uh, select, let's say, the maximum here. So what it tells us, like, uh, uh, it basically tells us, like, uh, from, uh, so the data is from uh, November 5. So today is November 6. So what I'm seeing is, like, um, um, uh, kind of, like, um, uh, the usage is close to nil, like, close to, like, uh, uh, maybe, like, 100 MB or something uh, initially. And then what is uh, happening is, like, uh, today, that is November 6, around uh, 3.52 p.m., it slowly started increasing. And then it basically reached an... Uh, maximum limit of uh, 16 uh, GB so we know like uh, from the reserved space we understood like uh, uh, we have close to 32 GB storage assigned and from um, uh, the storage space used we were able to understand like if you select the maximum here whatever you want you can select it we are able to understand like uh, it is uh, uh, close to 16 uh, GB right now and this gives us a uh, good picture here which basically tells us like uh, um, uh, everything was like kind of normal like um, it was not uh, even more than 1 GB uh, for um, November 5th and November uh, 6th till 3.52 p.m. and after that all of a sudden uh, uh, we had growth and it uh, went to uh, uh, 16 GB so we can use this information uh, basically to understand um, uh, how much is the uh, space used and also we can uh, understand uh, the pattern how the um, database growth is so right now we are uh, getting an uh, overall picture as far as all the databases are on the managed instance is concerned so what we can uh, do further is like we can use tsql and then we can try executing on each of the individual databases and then we will be able to understand like how much um, uh, space uh, each of these databases are uh, utilizing so this one is basically giving us the information with regards to the data file log file and then the in memory uh, oltp file so right now i'm able to see like it is close to 13 GB, this JBDB database is close to 13 GB and jv finance is like uh, close to uh, uh, close to 2 gb so we yeah, are 13 plus uh, 2 close to like we have 15 point something which is close to 16 gb and also we can use uh, uh, sp underscore uh, help db also which basically provides you an overall picture of uh, the database size on the instance so if we execute this we are able to clearly see that 13.7 uh, uh, gb is used by jvdb and then uh, 2.5 GB is used by JB Finance database. So we don't have much of a usage in uh, TEMDB because the storage um, uh, uh, allocation as far as uh, the overall instance is concerned, uh, it includes your uh, system database TEMDB also. So that is something that needs to be taken into account when uh, uh, assigning more space. So once we know that which database is taking much space, then we can uh, um, use this particular query and then we can check uh, um, exactly like uh, uh, which particular uh, uh, the, uh, file is taking much space, either it is data file or log file, and then we can take a decision.
That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.